In this video, we are going to construct a deterministic finite automaton for the language L containing words that start and end with an A. All words, therefore, must be of length at least 1. This language does not contain any empty strings. There is no additional restriction on the length of W. A word in the language L can be of any length from 1 onwards. We start by drawing the first state Q0, which we label as the start state by indicating an incoming arrow labeled start. From Q0, there are two possibilities, either we get an A or we get a B. Since Q0 is the start state, this indicates the first symbol that we see. If the first symbol seen is an A, then from Q0 we move to Q1, whereas from Q0, if we see a B, then we go to Q2. Any word starting with a B cannot belong to the language L. Hence, on entering Q2, any further symbols observed, either A's or B's, cause us to remain in Q2. Q1, however, could be a final state, and we indicate this by drawing two circles surrounding Q1. In such a final state, if the string isn't complete, that means that we see other symbols that follow the first A, then we either stay in Q1 on an A because that indicates that the last letter seen was an A, the last symbol seen was an A. Whereas if the last symbol seen is a B, we move to Q3. This gives us an understanding that we are changing state from being in a final state to a non-final state, indicating that such a string that we have seen cannot be accepted in its present form. To be able to accept such a string, we need to move back into a final state. Therefore, from Q3, on seeing an A, it is possible to move back to Q1. However, if a B is then seen, we stay in Q3. The B label on the transition from Q0 to Q2 indicates that the first symbol seen in the string is a B. Such strings cannot belong to L. Q2 here is called a dead state. It's a special terminology used for states from which the machine cannot escape. That means no transitions leave Q2 to go to any other state. Q3 indicates that you are in the middle of the string and you have not seen an A as the last symbol. In this particular case, the last symbol seen was a B. Q1 here being the final state indicates that on termination, when the string terminates, if you find yourself in Q1, then the string can be accepted. Whereas if you find yourself in any other state, Q0, Q2 or Q3, this would be an indication that the string is rejected and does not belong to L. We now look at an alternate construction wherein we add the additional constraint on the length of the string. Let us assume that we add the condition that the length of the string must be at least two symbols. This indicated in the definition that has been now augmented. Please note that the finite automaton you see on the left of the screen is the same as we saw earlier. However, this automaton allows strings of length one, which do not belong to the new language L. In L, the string containing only one A is not allowed. We therefore need to change this deterministic automaton to reflect this new constraint. We start similarly by constructing the first start state Q0. As earlier on an A from Q0 we move to Q1 and on a B we move to a dead state. This represents the initial constraints that the word must start with an A.
However, Q1 in this case cannot be a final state because on reaching Q1, the machine has only seen one A. Therefore, being in the middle of the string, if a B is observed, we stay in Q1, whereas if an A is observed, we reach the final constraint where the word has to have a length of at least two and move to a final state Q3. In Q3, the string can be accepted. However, if a B is then observed, the string is still not complete, cannot be accepted, and we have to move to Q1. On an A, however, we can still stay in Q3 and continue receiving A's without violating any of the constraints. In this particular case, Q1 acts as the state where you are in the middle of the string, whereas Q3 is the final state. In this particular automaton, being in Q3 when the string ends indicates acceptance of the string, that is, the string belongs to the language L. Not being in Q3, being in Q1, for example, indicates that the string is rejected. The language L described in this video is defined using what is known as the set builder method. To understand what the set actually looks like, please go to my video linked here. And to understand more about alphabets, languages and automata, go to my video on deterministic finite automata linked here.